This week on Truth, Duty, Valor. 20 men, two weeks of physical and mental hell, just for the chance to become one of the military's most respected and elite divers, a clearance diver. It's Monday morning at the Fleet Diving Unit Pacific, located near Victoria, BC. Today is the first of 10 days these 20 divers have to prove that they're tough enough to be clearance divers. Hey, Officer Oliver, I'm the senior instructor here at Fleet Diving Unit Pacific. You'll notice that the candidates refer to him simply as P.O. Hey, Officer Maynard, from the East Coast, Fleet Diving Unit Atlantic. The candidates also refer to him as P.O. This is short for Petty Officer. Okay, guys, the next two weeks, we're going to be assessed to see if we deem your case will become a clearance type. Okay? We're not here to kill you guys. Okay, we're here to assess you. We're going to make you very tired, very cranky. We want to see how you react under pressure. But those two things are our prime concern, safety and teamwork. Any questions on that? Any questions? No. no. All right, we want to hear you too. Over the next uh, 10 days, the students are going to be assessed for their diving ability, teamwork, and their physical ability, and also if they're capable of uh, handling our two sets of gear that we do most of our diving in. Less than half of these divers are expected to make it to the end of this brutal 10-day selection period. This is uh, unbelievable. You start out with normally 20 to 25 candidates and about five on the first day that realize that they bit off more than they can chew. And then after that, it's people that'll get cut because they're not physically fit enough. They, they think they are, they'll try, but they'll fail. What we're doing is we're gonna take them to the wall, which we call it, to see how far we can take them to make them tired physically and mentally. They're gonna be given tasks throughout the day. They're gonna be diving. You're going to be carrying out uh, physical training. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. The guys who don't make it through the prelim course, they didn't meet the standard that we're looking for. But the course is incredibly difficult. It is the most physically intensive course in the Navy, possibly in the Canadian forces. We want them to be able to work on very little sleep and lots of work. So hopefully towards the day three, they're probably running on about two to four hours of sleep a night. And uh, by day five, we should be able to see or, and assess how they're going to react in the worst kind of condition they can find themselves. To become a clearance diver, you have to go through a grueling year-long course. Making it through this two-week selection phase is their only chance of getting on that course. This two-week assessment phase is where we're going to, the clearance diving branch is going to have a real good look at the candidates and to see if we feel they're worthwhile to go on to the next phase. And the next phase is a 12-month clearance diver course. It's long and it's tough. And the first four months is the hardest part normally. So we want to make sure any candidates that we're going to send on that is going to be able to finish it. There's several kinds of, di kinds of divers in the Navy. Each of the different kinds has a specific job. There's the ship's divers work on board the ships, the port inspection divers are the reserves, and the clearance divers are the top of the diving food chain. Our core job is MCM which is line countermeasures, and that's also that's going in, clearing harbors, getting rid of underwater ordnance, mines, torpedoes, whatever it is. Also, we're also used, utilized for clearance on uh, land, getting rid of EOD and unexploded ordnance on land. The other thing is a uh, repair, underwater repair, and it's also salvage. We're trained to, we have our officers and ourselves that are trained to go down and 
recover sunken items, barges, planes, boats that we have to. So we're pretty diversified. We can pretty well do anything that's going to be done in the water, we'll do it. There's not too much we can't do. 120 clearance divers across the country. In the entire Canadian Forces, there's only 120 of us. We pick one of the best divers in the Army, Navy, and the Air Force, and we bring them into the clearance diving trade. There are no better divers in Canada. When Truth Duty Valor returns, which of these men will make it to the end? Uh, we're proud of our dolphins, I'll tell you that. I'm not going to lie to you, yeah. You, you come through our process, you've got something to be proud of. You have to want it so bad they can taste it. Everyone's already been at it for three long days and nights. At day four, 14 candidates out of 20 remain. A bunch of water in your BCs. <clears throat> Doc, how much sleep did you get last night? How much uh, sleep? A couple hours, Peel. A couple hours. Yes, Peel. Uh, you're overdoing it. How much sleep did you get last night? I don't know, Peel. You don't know? That's a good answer. <laughs> Can you all drive a compass? Yes, yes you. you! Can you all drive a compass underwater? Yes, yes you. you! Very well. To your right, this island. Pay attention, all divers, gentlemen. pay attention. Stand up. Take a right. Stand up. This island over here, you can all see it? Come on, gentlemen, let's get this together. We're this. We're you. Can you find your bypass? Can you locate your bypass? Operate it. Oh. Station three, uh, clear this time. You're not happy with your mask. Now is the time Remember to boys, let me know, right? As soon as the CCTA comes that. out of the water, get the pressure before you turn the gas off. Remember to get the pressure first, then turn the gas off. Okay, well this is day four here of the prelim. And what they're doing right now is a CCDA compass swim. They're swimming from the jetty to the island and back. It's a confidence test just to confirm they're uh, comfortable diving the rebreather set and using a compass partnered up. You can maintain 10 feet, operate all the uh, bells and whistles on your set, plus drive a compass. It tells us a lot about the individual. He's pretty checked out, he knows what's going on, and he's pretty comfortable in the set. And that tells us that when he passed his prelim and goes on a clearance diver course, he's gonna be checked out and he's comfortable with the set, and he's good to go. You okay? Max step. You okay? 15 feet, Phil. Max step. Max step. 24 feet, or 24 feet. 24 feet? feet? What were you told not to exceed? 15 feet, Do you think that's worth Codner? 22 feet, Timo? Yeah, you having a bad day? You guys come up, you come up on a plane, flat like this to come up. You don't come up with a compass board spinning around wondering where you are. You get a bearing, you come up, you take a look, you're back down. You go right down on plane and start swimming. You guys are getting all turned around. Okay, the reason why you'll see uh, the assessees doing a lot of push-ups, uh, sit-ups, uh, other uh, weird forms of exercise is we're trying to make them physically tired. And the reason why they're getting that, they were tasked to do something and it didn't get completed properly or they had a problem. We want them to think the next time they're down there 
ain't setting things up. They're going to have to go, okay, this is how it's going to be. If I don't do it this way, something's going to happen. We let you go with our weight pouches today. Tomorrow it's your come home bottle. The day after is your depth gauge. The day after that, you understand what I'm saying here? Yes, yes! You cannot go diving without all your gear, okay? You're going to hurt yourself. Yes, yes! We're only trying to make you a safe diver. Yes, yes! Get up. The candidates refer to both of these men as LS, which stands for Leading Seaman. My job is to just check out their teamwork, physical fitness, how they motivate our students, how they perform. The biggest key here is when they get tired, we really want to see how they perform. If you take a guy that's really, really tired and hasn't slept in like a week, and he, and he stays up and he keeps motivating people and he keeps moving, keeps doing his job, always in there, then... We take a lot of consideration, and uh, that guy's got a lot of heart. We, go, we like to call it heart. We can't simulate an emergency underwater. Obviously, we can't put their lives at risk, so we have to put as much pressure, as much strain on these guys in a safe environment to assess whether or not they're going to be capable. You know, it's the best way we can assess that they're going to be capable to deal with an emergency. 7, 21, 8, 9, 22, 10, 11, 5. What we're doing to these guys, if uh, I wasn't put through the same scenario, I probably wouldn't be here today. We want people to be able to think when they're at the worst and come home. That's the big thing. I would not ask anybody to do anything I couldn't do. So whatever these guys do, I've either done it or I do it with them. Yeah, I got the respect for him because he have completed the course and all that stuff. And he, they are, they are where I want to be. They had it just as hard, and uh, they're, you know, they're responsible for for making sure that uh, the next bunch that that maybe uh, gets selected for the course has what it takes to make it through the hardest possible prelim that they can come up with. So, so they they push us and they uh, just have no mercy. It's. The most demanding thing I've ever done in my life. This is day five, and I've probably had about five hours of sleep in the last week. Yeah, still going. I have no idea how. The motivation just to get up in the morning is, uh, it's tough. There's no security in making it through the first week. They know they could be taken out of the game at any time. It is a selection. You can make it all the way to the end of this two weeks, and then you say, no, you just didn't make the grade. You'll, you'll go in for a run and uh, you come back from the run and you changed and you realize you're missing a person. Or... This morning we got here and there's three people who weren't here anymore. Yeah. And they started disappearing. Bye-bye. When Truth Duty Valor returns, we follow the divers into the depths of another sleepless night. Let's go! Cabo Awkward is designed in the 40s by the Royal Navy. The idea is to get the ship's dive team ready to get in the water and defend the ship against enemy attack swimmers. So you've got to get dressed as quickly as possible. These guys have got very little time to get all their gear down to the jetty, get the boat ready, get dressed, be ready for the supervisor to tell them to get in the water. A ship we expect to be ready in 30 minutes. These guys we expect them to be ready much, much faster. And every time they do it, they have to get faster. Guys, here comes the PO. Here's the string. Tight on the string. Here comes the PO, guys. Square your yeah. off right now. Tonight's evolution is going to involve a compass swim over to the wooden dolphin. Does everyone know where the wooden dolphin is? Answer me, yes no. or no? no. PO. no. Which one, PO? I want you guys to get your accuracy yeah. down. Going down and then just going on a bearing and going forever, it's not going to get you any accuracy. Understood? Yes, yes you! And it was even see knows where you signed off on a PO. You happy, Landry? Yes, PO! You happy, Schroffer? Yes, PO. 
Flash the boat. You happy? Mold them? Yes, Pio. Flash the boat. 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 First team up and over. Better when you're clear. That round two comes up, Pio. Take a bearing. Dive when ready. Well, those guys are driving compasses in complete darkness. The men left to tend the dive station aren't just standing around. Three five, three six, three seven, three. I prepared before I came, like I was I was doing my own training, but you know, I don't think it matters how much you train, you're, you're never going to be prepared to, they just push you further, if you're in better shape, you're going to get pushed better than the guy that might not be in as good a shape, so. We had two hours sleep the first night, had uh, about an hour the second night, and an hour and a half last night, an hour and a half last night, after homework, so it's, uh, it's probably roughly least, about six hours through four nights least amount of sleep I've ever gotten in a four-day period and, and never worked most so amount most amount of work okay gentlemen listen up I gave a brief prior to this guy right yes, yes, you. You. I want you to go over and touch that dolphin to turn around and come back. Only two teams managed to accomplish that task. Team three, team four. Why did you not accomplish that task? I don't know, P.O. Get in the water. 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 Get in When Truth Duty Valor returns, the pain gets worse. Day six starts out like every morning, cold and painful. After five 22-hour days, these guys are looking pretty rough. 923, Landry. Landry, 923. Come on, 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 come Come on, McMillan, get up there. You let go of that prior game, you're done. Come on, boy. Go! 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 Come on, put some effort into it. It's the easiest way to, to, uh, to go for that style of swimming because of uh, you get far more propulsion when you're on your side like that. Uh, and you can see where you're going. If you're laying on your back, uh, you can't see where you're going. You're trying to find the limitations of the individual at the same time you're driving the course. Remember your time. Let's go get your buddy. 
bodies now. Sixteen, eighteen. Go we'll get the other guys. Come on, Pat. Yeah. Oh. Pat. Oh. All the way from Shanghai. What do you say? Nice swim, buddy. Good job. Come on, Al, swim it hard, overhead, overhead. Al, drive it in. Al, what's up, boys? Come on. Come on. What do you want to be, boys? Let's go. Circle, boys. What do you want to be? Grand What do you want to be? Grand Stoners. All the way. If you're constantly doing your physical training to the to the weakest member, then the strongest members, you can't evaluate them. So at the same time, you, you don't want to hurt somebody. So that is a very difficult thing, trying to set a standard that challenges all of them without hurting them. These guys here, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty much done, but they want it so bad that they can still perform. And it's amazing what the body can do when you've got the right initiative. They don't have to be the fastest, they don't have to be the strongest, but we want some in the end of two weeks that had a real good look at their gut, and we looked at them, and they're saying, yes, I want this. That's what we're looking for. 925, let's go. You guys got 925, I'm sitting in your desk in the classroom, getting ready for your lecture. Go. And it isn't even 9.30 in the morning. Hardcore. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Flag, I got the flag. These guys will spend the morning learning as much as they can about the equipment they'll be using for the rest of the week. But it looks like one guy is going to be late for class. Any, anything else like this comes up, okay, you got to come back and see me. Roger. Remember what I told you about the pain and the bulging and all that stuff? If it gets worse or if it gets more aggravated, come on back. I see. All right? Ice can't hurt, all right? But uh, crush your legs when you're going in the water. Okay, if you go. You're going to kill yourself. He has a slight groin pull. Nothing that's going to keep him out of course. He's a pretty stoic individual. He should be able to uh, train through it. If it gets worse and he can't carry on, then we're going to have to pull him. It's up to the member. Did you let him pull you, Fontaine? Negative. Tell us. Out far! All the way! Out far! All the way! I have the authority to cut personnel off the course due to medical reasons. The typical injury that we see, it's a... Uh, for the clearance to have a prelim course, it's mostly uh, musculoskeletal, knees, ankles, back, shoulders. Because of the physical activity of the course, I'd have to say 30% of the people that show up for this course, that is what sends them home. Broken limbs and pulled muscles are nothing compared to the danger that awaits them as clearance divers. The word clearance refers to clearing explosives. We're responsible for all the explosive ordnance disposal for the Navy. For the Canadian Forces, we're responsible for explosive ordnance disposal underwater. If there's a bomb anywhere out there or unexploded ordnance, we get called. Because of the explosive nature of the job, clearance divers are always training to be ready for anything. We do weekly training. Um, every Friday morning we do uh, a scenario to use the various tools that we have and keep everybody uh, up to snuff on using the tools so they don't, they don't lose their expertise and their experience. Ordnance is uh, basically all, everything that explodes that's made uh, to fire out of a weapon um, or laid like mines, grenades, um, any type of bullet, you know, projectiles. One of the tools that we use is the uh, RMI, the uh, Remote Mo Mobile Investigator. And uh, on that, one, uh, one of the tools that we use on the RMI itself is the Nutrex. Uh, Nutrex is a water cannon. We use that as our, our first, usually the first thing that we'll go down and do, um, depending on, on the scenario, of course. The greatest threat to the clearance diver is from fragments emitted from the bomb and other objects in the surrounding area, which can enter the body at supersonic speed. We train to do that, so that's what we do. And also, I've dealt with live grenades on the surface. I've had to go on a call not too long ago. Two World War grenades serve souvenirs live up. So we just make them go away. I don't know that uh, scared or fear is the right choice of words. Uh, you know, you just 
follow a protocol, the plan for the dive. Uh, you have a healthy respect, obviously, for any explosives you're dealing with. Every time someone walks down in the bomb, they have to remember, this could be it. Everything focuses on their actions. They determine whether they live or die. That'd be uh, one of the probably the most interesting parts. I think that's, that's one of the phases I'm looking forward to. I think blowing stuff up for a few months would be pretty fun. So I'm looking forward to that. When Truth Duty Valor returns, no pain, no gain. There's 10 or 20 things they can do to you, none of them are any good, so you just, you just prepare for the worst, I guess. to start off another 22-hour day with a chilly swim. With six days under their belts, the 10 guys left only have four more to go. Can and will they make it to the end? Let's get out there and get uh, Chenard. Chenard's got a bad foot, eh? It's um, Tuesday morning, week two. But the, uh, some of the guys are hurting pretty bad this morning, so we uh, decided to just take them for a swim. Going to send a couple guys up to see the dock. Hopefully uh, things iron itself out and they'll be back in the game shortly. So as soon as they get out of the water, there's two guys in the dock. 2138. Okay, so let's, let's hold up, guys. Come on. Good job, boys. Hey, let's go out of the water. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, get up. Good. Pull your own carcass in the water. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Where's the driver? Make sure you get up there right away. Let's go. Where's the driver? Come on, boys. You guys got 10 minutes. Good for them up. Ready to go for PT. Get that boat boat. You hear that? Good night, guys. Uh, this is the second day of uh, week two. Uh, we just finished the morning swim. I don't know how long it was. I think it's close to a kilometer. Um, a couple guys are just going to see the dock, and I think we're heading out for a run right now. For a couple of days now, my uh, key stand has been, um, been bothering me. So today, when I came out of the water, I just pulled it. Um, I put more pressure on it than you, uh, usually. And now I just wanted to get taped up so I can go run again. So that's why I'm waiting. I got a uh, problem with my knees and my right Achilles heel, so I'm going to see if maybe you can give me a tensor bandage or something, or if you can give me anything for it. Yeah, yesterday's uh, PT test wasn't very uh, fun. Hold on. Uh, and not even a flinch from this guy. Oh, I dropped a big steel frame on it the day before the prelim started. Yeah, it's broken. Three quarters of the nail is dead, so that it was just catching all the time, so the dog just ripped the rest of it off this morning. Oh. Yeah, it's not that bad. I'm gonna save that toenail though and put it on a necklace, huh? Hey? This is gonna come off. This is what she's gonna do to it, okay? Polish born the rest. Well, I was, you need to throw like some duct tape or some electrical tape or something on that. Yeah. Ah, so hi. Oh. Yeah, thirty-five minute uh, return trip uh, each way, each way rather. It's not it's not worth the trip for two hours sleep. Right? So crash here, a couple hours, a couple. A little cat nap and then uh, get up and go again. <laughs> a trip to the sick bay doesn't get anybody out of a morning run. That caused some young man a lot of pain this morning. 
he's a tough kid. He ain't gonna quit. But that is now getting filed under G for garbage. Day eight. Three more days to go and many more surprises. Well, it's day eight today. Um, we just lost one more candidate. Yeah, he, uh, he was having a hard time keeping up the rum and he was going to hurt himself. He was pretty sick. He had a chest cold and stuff. And uh, right now, they, uh, they, they got home about 2 o'clock this morning, so with homework, they probably never got to sleep to about 3. So they're, they're hurting pretty bad now. They're, they're, uh, they definitely want to be here. And that's uh, right now we're getting the uh, key factors and what we're looking for, heart and soul. And uh, these guys are really performing. This will be our guys coming down the jetty there now. If you just take a look, some of the guys are hopping pretty hard. Come on, gentlemen! Like the guy, second guy there, he's the second guy here to change him out of nine. Just look at him hopping eight. That's a lot of heart right there. A lot of heart. Which is what we're looking for, right? All right, push up position. Let's go. Let's go, boys! Come on, Janard! Oh. There's that easy run this morning. Come on, guys! We haven't started PT yet. That's awesome. How come you're last? Don't shoot, Alex. Playing at the boat. 0401 here, Alex. All right, 3:35. You guys have to be 3:23, or we're gonna do this all morning. Yes, Alex. Yes, Alex. On your feet. Of course, senior. Alex. Motivate your people somehow. Let's go. This is it, boys. Go, boys. Come on. Go, 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 go. Do it. Let's go. Hey, these guys awkwards are just something to uh, something to instill teamwork. If you can take ten guys or nine guys right now and bring them down to under three minutes, then somehow up in that change room they're really performing up there. They're really trying hard. They basically go up there, take off all their PT gear, get into their wetsuits like they are there now, come down and get ready to go swimming. So once they get the flags up, the safety boat going, and everybody's lined up on the little railing here with their fins on, that's when the awkward time start, stops. See right now, 250. So they got no problem beating 323. Let's keep it up, Improve it, improve it. Fins up, fins up. Let's go, dogs. This is the water over here. Let's go. Well, you got the water. You guys watch where you're jumping in the water. Boys, this course is not over. Don't get your place, Nate. <laughs> you guys, this is voluntary. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's not too late to say I don't want to be here. Get up, Mullen! Mullen, the only way I have to judge if you are okay or not is that thumb, eh? Yes, sir. Every time you hit the water, Mullen, what are you supposed to do? Thumbs up, Mullen. So how come you didn't give me a thumbs up? I have to know, I have to know that you are okay, right? Yes, sir. Carry on. Let's go, Landry. Let's go, Landry. Come on, boys. Beaten, you're slowing down, Beaton. You're slowing down. I think we have a throw for you, Beaton. I want to see a thumb at all times. Good call. Oh! Keep pushing, Next on Truth Duty Valor, hanging in there by a thread.
I don't really feel anything with my body. It's pretty much all numb right now. It's just a matter of getting through the next two days and we're laughing. Where's the old diver? Stand by for systems check. Ready old diver, check bird. Ready old diver. Stand by to go on emergency. So what, what happens here is this is the, uh, the plumber's nightmare, and it's uh, if you look at it up here, it's it's pretty basic. Uh, there's just a few connections there. The pipes are different sizes, so you got to get the right key and the right keyhole sort of deal. So what they got to do is they got to take it all out of the bag and then try to piece it together so that it goes back perfectly like this. And uh, it's, and if you look at it, it's not a hard task, but underneath the water with the gear, with new gear on and stuff, it's. Uh, it can be a task for the students, especially when they're tired, fatigued, and they got to think on the spot, right? Uh, doing the tasks are pretty good. It passes the time pretty easily, especially the ones uh, like the, the the plumber's nightmare. You have different different pieces. You have joints, reducers, uh, like elbow joints, and you know if you're down there for for an hour dive, it's pretty cold down there. So uh, it gives you something to do, takes your mind off the cold. You send a guy down, and it takes him two hours to put the plumber's nightmare together, where it takes another guy five minutes to put the plumber's nightmare together. This tells you a lot about the individual. Maybe he's not so comfortable. Meanwhile, the instructors are making sure the guys on the float aren't getting cold. Go! Get in the water! Ready, start! Go! You guys want to earn this right to get your thumbs down. Red side rope, take to your sick of doing push-ups and sit-ups, so we just got to use our imagination now to make up some new exercises. Just trying to get a bit heavier. 11. Give me a right answer, or I'll think about letting you out. 12. Sir. That's the key to the rope. You mean to, uh, to be able to cross it? Determination just never stop. Just on, keep pushing with your leg and time. pulling with your arms. Never stop. So what the heck is the allure to this dangerous, exhausting, cold job? You got to be attracted to danger and diving. I love the adventure. It's I, I don't want a normal job. I always told my mother that when I was going to do something, it wasn't going to be an office job. I've never had an office job. Adrenaline, it's, uh, I like that. It's a uh, you know, uh, strong sensation, and I love it. It's the most challenging job in the Navy. Um, you get to lo do a lot of different things. You get to dive a lot of the the gear that you never get to see on the ships or at, you know, the units in the country, the reserve units. I've been a clearance diver for four years. It's probably the best move ever made in my life. It's, uh, the job itself is just so satisfying. I couldn't imagine doing anything else right now. Close up on, uh, number two for red. The bag is at the shot line. Red diver up and out. Red diver up and out. Okay, gentlemen, listen up. You've got half an hour to secure this side. Up on the jetty, work dress, let's go. Okay, guys, make it happen, let's go. Not knowing what's going to happen next is something these guys have gotten used to. But their next surprise is the first of its kind. Anybody want to quit? No, no! Full cab walk, we're go! Let's go! Stop! 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 Okay, gentlemen, that's it. That is day nine. 
Don't okay. forget, we still got day 10 yet. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes. I want you gentlemen to go get a hot shower, put some fresh underwear on. You guys stink. Underwear. Nobody here is wearing underwear right now, I hope. No, 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 no. Gentlemen, the rest of the night is yours. Ready up to Oliver? When Truth Duty Valor returns, the final countdown, and who makes the cut? The nine that we've uh, that we've uh, selected uh, showed the right stuff. They came here with the drive and determination to get themselves through that, that two weeks. And uh, they never quit, no matter what. Congratulations, gentlemen. You are good enough to be Clarence Dockers. We don't say that to a lot of people here. We get to say it to you. And the reason we get to say it, because you worked your asses off while you were here. That's That's the corporal Tom. Corporal Gold. They made it. After 10 of the most intense days and nights of their lives, they can finally relax and reflect. The most miserable moment was the, the 45 minutes sleep we got Tuesday night. It wasn't even enough time for guys to dry their clothes. Like we would thrown clothes in the dryer when we got home, and by the time we he took them out, they weren't even dry yet. You, you, you want to do nothing more than sleep, like you would pay for sleep at that point. Hardest thing I've done in my life. Three, four. We estimated five, over 9,000 push-ups for eight, each of these guys nine, over the last two 40, weeks, one, not including two, all the other physical three, training. Four, but who's five, counting? Six. I don't sit at home and count that night what I did because I'm sure I wouldn't want to show up the next day. The other day we had, uh, I think our bank was um, 25 away from 6,000 that the course had to do and that was just in the one day so I wouldn't even be able to guess. It's hard to say really. That's why your packs are at all? <laughs> Not really because uh, they feed us really well. You know, you constantly if you, have a, if you have a chance, you know, in between everything, you, you're stuffing your face full of food, you always got... <laughs> yes, Phil. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I guess this course is not over yet. So. It might be the last day, but it isn't over until the instructors say it's over. We have five minutes to get a PT strip. Go! Fuck. Go! Come on! Hurry up! Come on. You think it's over? Let's go, gentlemen! Come on! Move it! Move it! Move it! Five minutes. Shouldn't have packed, boys. The damn course ain't over till it's over. Let's move right. it. Go. go. PT strip. Come on, McConnell. Are you going to change there? Go. I don't care. Let's go. Get out here. Make this timing. You here? 0401. Everybody's here. Yo. Okay. Here you run. Tell me. Have a beer. Join us next time for another episode of Truth, Duty, Valor. The, the achievement of what we've done kind of overcomes all the pain. Oh, yeah, I have to come on, 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 on.